What do you get when you combine paper mache, bamboo, paint, fancy fabric, and a whole lot of practice? Chinese lion dance. But have you ever wondered how it all works? How do you bring the lion to life? In this video, you'll get a special behind the scenes look at how art, music, and physical movement come together to become a dazzling performance rich in tradition and culture. I'm Kevin Law from Goes Kung Fu, and I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at the lion dance costumes and explain how they are used. Exactly how the lion dance tradition started is largely unknown, but the most popular tale is that a Nan monster was attacking a Chinese village. Strong, brave villagers used their creativity and wit to scare the monster away. Now, lion dances are performed by martial artists at times of great celebration, like Chinese weddings, the opening of a new business, and of course, the Lunar New Year. A lot of the movements that you see have layers of symbols. The eating section, for example, is meant to bring good fortune to the audience. The green vegetable that is devoured and then spit out at viewers is Thai. The green leaves resemble paper currency, and with that, there is a wordplay or pun, which is very popular in the Chinese language. Thai, with a different tone, means money or wealth. So the lion gobbles up the veggies and gives back wealth. Let's take a look at the anatomy of the lion. Here are some important parts of the costume. The lion head is very recognizable, but because it is so fantastic, sometimes people mistake the lion for a dragon. The lion head uses puppetry to control moving parts like the mouth, the eyes, and the ears. There are also traditional decorations that adorn the lion's head. These decorations include mirrors and reflective surfaces, which symbolically scare away evil spirits when they see their reflection. Painted flames and sparkling fabric symbolize the power of the lion and draw attention to the movement during the performance. The horn is another symbol of power and the lion's strength. The lion would use its horn as an animal would to fight its opponent. The lion's body is made of matching fabric or a combination of accent fabric so that the lion is viewed as one creature. The wavy fur can be synthetic or natural material, but it makes the lion seem more like a beast. The fabric panels can move and catch the light and air to make the lion appear to breathe. The lion's legs are the legs of the performers. If the lion needs to kick, the performer must rely on their martial training to give the lion a powerful attack. Now, why don't we see if we can get a better understanding of what happens beneath the costume to bring the lion to life. of the performance is the drum, which is often considered the heartbeat of the lion. The drum is used to keep the rhythm of the performance and also to cue the lions to what step comes next. For our lion dance, we use this large Chinese drum, but there are smaller drums that you can use to practice or you can make household items into a drum. Look in your recycle bin for cans or boxes. For drumsticks, you can use spoons or chopsticks. If you don't find these items around the house, you can use body percussion by clapping, stomping, or patting the beat. This is the low march beat. Listen to me, play it once through, and then try to join in. I hope you enjoyed seeing what goes on inside the Chinese lion dance costume. Thank you for watching and happy Lunar New Year.